Hey Lego fans, it's Ben here from JB Bricks. You can follow everything we do at jbbricks.blogspot.com. Okay, so here I've got a Lego Technic set. This one is the cargo plane, set 42025, and it has 1,297 pieces. So when you hear that, you know this is a big set. It is the wingspan is 24 inches and the and the length is 25.1 inches. Okay, so let's dive right in. It does include one motor and one battery box. So this is battery powered. So, let me get over here. This is a massive set. Just look at my hand to that. It's massive. So the um, the playability you get with this set is you can rotate the propellers back back here. There is here I'll just show you two red levers. This one on the right controls the back hatch and the propellers and the one on the left controls the landing gear and the front which the front doesn't have that much space in it I'll just show you it's, it's just more for playability features more but it's even though it, it it doesn't have any space in there, really. It still is really fun to do. Just. And then, landing gear. There's some front landing gear and back. And as you can see, these flaps fold over when the landing gear up. So when I put those down, you'll see those flaps going up. Well, uh, which I think is really awesome. So now, and then if these are just in the middle, you have to do that to activate the propellers. You have to move them versus if they're just in the middle, nothing happens. You have to move them to get some playability features. So, I'll show you the propellers. Really cool. Really cool. They are, they are spinning really, really fast. And then, the back gate. Back here... There wasn't a lot of room in the front, but back in the in the back there is a ton of space. Like this much. Literally. It's just awesome. Awesome playability features with this set. Hmm. Oh, wrong thing. Hmm. Just lift that up. Ah. And then this little thing, if you're wondering what it is for, that controls the back flaps on the tail and the side and the outer wings. Moving it side to side does the wings. Back and forth does the um, tail fins or wherever you want to call them. And this, this right there, that there's stickers over here to show you what does what, so you don't have to just guess and everything. But this one does the inner flaps right there. They just go back and forth. So, yeah, really awesome set, ton of playability feature. In the cockpit, there is, I don't know if you can see it, some tiles in there. Yeah, right there you can see 
that's on both sides. Um, I, er, well, it's just pretty simple stickers. There is a ton of stickers on this plane, but I think they're worth it. You have, you have a ton of playability features. You've got lights for detail, propellers, which are really cool. I think they're like my favorite part about this set. The battery box, if you're wondering where it is, it's right here, right in there. I don't know if you can see it. That's what this, I was turning this for. This is attached to the little thing on the battery box to turn it on and off. Oh, oh stripping gears. I'm not exactly used to this set yet. I got it pretty recently. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool. We've got stickers there. Um, stickers, like, everywhere. But it does make up for it. I think this is a really awesome, awesome set. Now, I'm kind of, um, scared to say this, but... This is really my first Technic set that I got. <laughs> um, with that being, I did have some little mess ups along the way, but I did come or did you know defeat those, and I got it together within 24 hours. Um, really a ton of playability features. I really recommend this set. It's just so awesome. You can, it has all those cool features. And in the back, it has a cart, a place to fit a bunch of stuff. And this is, because it's Technic, most Technics are, a two-in-one build. So, well, first we have the plane, and then we have a, uh, let's turn it back, a hovercraft. A hovercraft as the alternate build, which I can't wait to build. Um, I will build it and review it, this is just the review for the plane, but I will build the hovercraft and review it. So, yeah, this set is just awesome. I, I can't get over how awesome it is. All the detail. There was two sheets of stickers, two nice size sheets, but it's worth it. I think it is so awesome. I just love it. I definitely, definitely recommend this set. Um, like, great birthday present, Christmas present, I don't know, whatever. It's great. The, just so awesome. This well, for $150 U.S., I think it's worth it. Really, really worth it. It's really worth that $150 that you pay. U.S. It might be, it's probably different. It probably varies from country to country. But U.S., it's $150, which I think is a fair price. For what you get here. Might not be as many as some other sets. Like if you remember like the Battle of Helm's Deep. Um, that like has like 1,600 or something. But it had a lot of smaller pieces. I think that one was only 120. But I think 
this one is so worth that hundred and fifty dollars you pay. So, yeah, we hope you liked this review of the cargo plane, Lego Technic cargo, cargo plane. Yeah. Um, but tell me what you think about it in the comments below. So, yeah, we hope you subscribe. Thanks for watching.